Reactions Believe it or not, your own reaction time probably isn't that much slower than your favorite player. If that's true though, how are top players seemingly ready for everything? Are they just born with ultimate gamer genes and you're not? It's a common misconception, but they don't always punish through raw reactions alone. Instead, they'll sometimes use something called prediction confirmation. I originally learned about this concept reading Lod's 2017 Guide to Improvement. The Peach Main defines prediction confirmation as predicting your opponent to throw out a move and then confirming upon that move by punishing. This might just sound like whiff punishing, but it's predicting an option ahead of time that separates the two. Whiff punishing tries to react to all of your opponent's options, whereas prediction confirmation keeps just one or a few options in mind. This primes your reactions to those specific options, allowing you to react faster and more accurately than if you tried reacting to all of them. Let's put it in the context of the game, though, with the Falcon-Fox matchup. Fox's most common neutral tools in the matchup are approaching with shuffle aerials, approaching with full hop aerials, and zoning with strong hitboxes. Punishing all of these on reaction and at the same time might be too hard, and I could take a lot of damage every time I miss. I might focus instead, then, on predicting when Fox will use a zoning aerial and reacting to only that one option. While some of Fox's approaches might go unpunished, I'll punish his zoning more effectively and avoid taking damage from spreading my reactions too thin. This concept isn't exclusive to fighting games either, as shown in this clip from FPS legend Shroud. Every day your reaction time is going to change. So, and a lot of shooters is less about reaction time and more about just being aware, right? It might look like your reaction time is super insane, but there might be some sort of trigger before you even react like footstep you hear a step and you react to that step first so it looks like you just see the guy and you react really fast but it, the, the trigger is the the footstep you know what i mean so it's not always straight reaction time let's say i'm dash dancing in the middle of battlefield and my opponent is a marth on the side platform most marths like to shield drop fair so i can use marth going onto the platform as a trigger to prime my reactions i'll focus on looking out for that one option and get ready to react Players like Shroud and Lod don't always use pure reactions. They identify situations and then understand how to act. So it's not necessarily that better players are reacting faster than you. They might just be more familiar with scenarios and know what to look out for. If you find yourself not being able to keep up with faster players, maybe try looking at the bigger situation instead of trying to react to individual moves. Hopefully this video helps you get more out of your reactions and let me know in the comments how important you think reaction times are. Likes are appreciated, subscribe if you want more, and you can find me on Twitter and Twitch. Until next time, thanks for watching.